I welcome you all for today's session. A very good morning to all of you. And uh, today in this series of uh, YouTube live sessions, today we are going to start uh, one of the important topic which is requested by many students to take it live on the YouTube. So we have started pharmacology. We have already taken few sessions of pharmacology on YouTube. We have started the antimicrobials last time. And I guess we have already started, uh, we have completed uh, protein synthesis inhibitors. Now today I am going to cover beta lactam antibiotics. It's a very difficult topic to understand but um, I'm challenging you after the session it will be cakewalk for you. So can I start beta lactam antibiotics? Can I start in the antimicrobials? Can we go ahead? Give me a thumbs up. Are you ready? Can we go ahead? So let's start beta lactam antibiotics in the pharmacology. So I told you what are antimicrobial drugs. Last time also I told you. So all those drugs that kill or inhibit the growth of microorganism are known as antimicrobial drugs. Now we all are doctors. There are patients we are going to deal with. There is a patient in my clinic. The patient is having infection. The patient is having certain infection. The infection is caused by the microorganisms. Now, how many type of microorganisms are there? Microorganisms are of four types. They can be bacteria, they can be viruses, they can be parasites, they can be fungus. Now, being a doctor, I want to treat my patient. I want to cure my patient. To cure my patient, I have to treat the infection, which is, kill, uh, which is caused by microorganism. So, to treat the patient, I have to kill the microorganism or I have to inhibit the growth of the microorganism. So, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal and antiparasitic drugs are there that kill the corresponding respective microorganism. They all are known as antimicrobial drugs. Antimicrobial drugs are the drugs that kill, either they kill or they inhibit the growth. Either they are bacteriocidal, that is they kill the microorganism or they do not kill, but they inhibit the growth. The bacteria cannot do the binary fission. So they inhibit the growth of the microorganism that is bacteriostatic. So they can be bacteriocidal, they can be bacteriostatic. So they are of two types. Okay. Now based on the mechanism of action, I told you they are of four, five types. Um, listen, this is a bacteria. I want to kill this bacteria. This bacteria is present in my patient's body. So this is the bacteria. This is the nucleus of the bacteria. This is the DNA of the bacteria. This is the ribosome of the bacteria. And this is the cell wall of the bacteria. So there are four mechanisms I can kill it. I can kill it. So there are four mechanisms of the antibiotics uh, or antimicrobial drugs. One of them we will take it today. That is the antibiotics which inhibit cell wall synthesis. So the first mechanism, there are certain antimicrobial agents that inhibit cell wall synthesis in the bacteria. Beta lactams are one of them. So today I am going to teach you beta lactams which will inhibit cell wall synthesis in the bacteria and kill the bacteria in that mechanism, by this mechanism. So these are the antimicrobial that inhibit the cell wall in the bacteria. So no cell wall, the bacteria will swell, the bacteria will burst, bacteria will die. So these are cell wall synthesis inhibitors, number one. The second one, there are certain antibiotics that causes pores in the cell membrane, holes in the cell membrane. They causes holes or poles in cell membrane. They do not act on cell wall, they act on the cell membrane. So many antibiotics come in this category also. We will take a session on that also, but today I'm not going to teach you this. I'm going to teach you these one. Okay, so there are certain antibiotics which cause holes, holes or pores in the cell membrane. So the cytoplasm will leak out, the vitals will leak out and the bacteria will die. So this is the second mechanism. The third mechanism, there are certain bacteria which inhibit nucleic acid synthesis in the bacteria. Either DNA synthesis or RNA synthesis, either directly or indirectly. So we will take a session on them also. Today I'm not going to deal with them. I'm just enumerating. And the last one, there are certain antibiotics which act on the ribosome. You know protein synthesis takes place on ri ribosome. So they inhibit the protein synthesis in the bacteria. So they do not kill the bacteria. If the protein cannot be synthesized, bacteria will not die. But bacteria cannot divide further. So these are most of them are bacteriostatic. We have already taken a session on them. So the last session, if you have missed, please watch it. We have already taken a session on them. Today I'm going to take a session on the cell wall synthesis inhibitors. So can I start the cell wall synthesis inhibitors? These are the four ways we can kill the bacteria or we can inhibit the growth of the bacteria. So based on the mechanism of action, there are four types of antimicrobial agents. Say yes, everyone. Got it? Any confusion? So these are the four mechanisms we can kill a bacteria. Either inhibit the cell wall synthesis or cause the holes or pores in the cell membrane or inhibit the protein synthesis or inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis. Among them, one is already covered. Protein synthesis inhibitors, I taught you four drugs uh, a day before yesterday. The session is there on the YouTube, you can watch it later on. Tetracycline, chloramphenicol, aminoglycosides and macrolide that is erythromycin. These four I have taken. Today I am going to teach you these one. 
द एंटीबायोटिक्स विच इनिबिट द सेल वॉल संथसिस ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया बीटा लैक्टाम्स आर वन ऑफ देम सो देयर आर मेनी एंटीबायोटिक्स विच इनिबिट सेल वॉल संथसिस इन द बैक्टीरिया बीटा लैक्टाम्स आर वन ऑफ देम अलोंग विद द बीटा लैक्टाम देयर इज वेंकोमाइसिन फॉस्फोमाइसिन ग्लाइकोपेप्टाइड्स एंड बेसिट्रासन बट टुडे वी विल सी द डिटेल्स ऑफ द बीटा लैक्टाम्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बीटा लैक्टाम्स विद दिस इंट्रोडक्शन आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग बीटा लैक्टाम कैन आई स्टार्ट बीटा लैक्टाम एंटीबायोटिक्स कैन आई स्टार्ट ओके व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय बीटा लैक्टाम What do you mean by? Do you know what is benzene ring? Have you read chemistry in your childhood? Huh? Whenever you were you were in school, I guess everyone read. Everyone know what is a benzene ring? It's a six carbon ring. This is a six carbon ring. You can see this is the benzene ring. Everyone know. So in chemistry, this ring. Can you see this ring? This ring is known as beta lactam. Beta lactam is a ring like structure like the benzene. It is not benzene. It is a four carbon ring. Actually, three carbon and one of the nitrogen. So it is a four-sided ring. You can see this ring is known as beta lactam ring. This ring is known as beta lactam ring. You can see there is a carbon here, there is a carbon here, there is a carbon here, there is a nitrogen here. So three carbon with one nitrogen, a ring with four side. This is beta lactam ring. So in the chemical structure, they have beta lactam ring. That's why they are known as beta lactam antibiotics. Now they cause cell wall synthesis inhibition because of this ring. If this ring is not present, they are not antibiotic. The the antibiotic activity is due to this ring. So in the entire structure, the most important thing is this ring, beta lactam ring. So all the antibiotics which have this ring is known as beta lactam ring. Now there is one more ring in this diagram. You can see one more ring which is five sided, five carbon ring. This one, this one. Can you see this one, this one? So this is not beta lactam. This is a uh, thiazolidin ring but this is not responsible for antibiotic activity for antibiotic activity beta lactam you get a image based question on that that's why i am insisting please learn that got my point so this is beta lactam so how many beta lactam antibiotics are there there are four type of beta lactam antibiotics what are those penicillin cephalosporin carbapenem monobactam you can learn pcm physics chemistry and uh, microbiology whatever you can learn the three pccm pccm penicillin cephalosporin carbapenem monobactam physics chemistry max you can learn like that pcm or you can make some other mnemonic or please learn the four antibiotic they all have one thing in common they all have beta lactam ring in their structure that's why they all are known as beta lactam antibiotics the mechanism of action of all of them is same okay penicillin cephalosporin carbapenem and monobactam so these are the four so this is the classification we have seen the structure of all four is like this we have seen the classification till now we have seen two things can we go ahead can we go ahead say yes now let me tell you the mechanism of action they all kill bacteria all the four they all kill bacteria they are antibiotic they don't kill virus they don't kill fungus they don't kill parasite they kill bacteria how they kill the bacteria they all four all four they inhibit the cell wall synthesis in the bacteria they inhibit the cell wall synthesis in the bacteria by this they kill the bacteria if the cell wall is not not there the bacteria will swell and burst out cell wall is preventing the bacteria to burst out if there is no cell wall it will burst out got my point so they all kill bacteria by inhibiting the cell wall so what is the mechanism of action mechanism of action all four is same they interfere with synthesis of cell wall bacterial cell wall penicillin cephalosporin carbapenem monobactam they all four act by this mechanism now to understand in detail which step of cell wall synthesis they inhibit you have to understand normal cell wall if you don't understand what is the structure of a normal cell wall in a bacteria how does the cell wall get synthesized in a bacteria you cannot understand which step they are inhibiting so to understand their mechanism of action you must understand first the normal cell wall in a bacteria so all bacteria in this world have cell wall whether it is a gram positive bacteria or it is a gram negative bacteria okay there are two types of bacteria gram positive gram negative they all have cell wall the cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan here also the cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan here also the cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan but there is a difference here the peptidoglycan content is thick thicker and here it is thin so in gram positive the peptidoglycan content is more and here the peptidoglycan content in gram negative is less but it is present in both except one bacteria in the world the name of that bacteria is mycoplasma mycoplasma it is a natural bacteria god forgot to give the cell wall it doesn't have cell wall that's why it's also a very important mcq that beta lactam antibiotics do not act on um, uh, this uh, uh, mycoplasma mycoplasma is resistant for beta lactam you cannot kill mycoplasma by beta lactam what does beta lactam will do 
if you give any of the beta lactam any of the four beta lactam if i say beta lactam it should click i am talking about all four penicillin cephalosporin carbapenem or monobactam if you are giving any of them so they will inhibit the cell wall synthesis they will inhibit i will tell you how they will inhibit the cell wall synthesis in the bacteria no cell wall the bacteria will burst and die but mycoplasma is a bacteria which don't have cell wall so what does it will do ha no so beta lactam cannot kill mycoplasma it's a natural bacteria so it is a bacteria which is resistant mycoplasma which is resistant so it's an important question you can understand now you can also understand since gram positive have thick cell wall and gram negative have thin cell wall cell wall means peptidoglycan content in the cell wall that's why beta lactam especially penicillin they are more active against gram positive and they are less active against gram negative so this is also proven here now what about the peptidoglycan you can see here it is thick here it is thin but you say ma'am what is peptidoglycan what is the structure of the peptidoglycan let me tell you the structure of peptidoglycan the peptidoglycan is a polymer the peptidoglycan is a polymer it is made up of two monomers the peptidoglycan is a polymer which is made up of two monomer the name of the two monomers is nam and nag i will tell you the full forms nam and nag so one nam one nag one nam one nag it's alternate one nam one nag one nam one nag one nam one nag one it's like this again one more chain one nam one nag one nam one nag it's like this it's like this so the complete and they are interconnected the chains are interconnected so this is how the cell wall gets synthesized you got whether it is gram positive or gram negative i repeat just suppose this is the bacteria whether gram positive or gram negative this is the cell wall ha na the cell wall contain the peptidoglycan in gram positive it is thick in gram negative it is thin but it is present in both what is peptidoglycan it is alternate nam nag nam nag one nam one nag one nam one nag so there is a chain and there is another chain one nam one nag one nam one nag it's like this ha na and the chains are interconnected with each other okay let me draw few chains to explain you the cross linking i want to give you the concept of the cross linking if you don't understand cross linking you cannot understand the mechanism of action so this is the multiple you know polymers of nam nag nam and nag is the monomer so one nam one nag one nam one nag it's like this ha na now the chains are interconnected the nam nam of various chains not nag nam and nam are interconnected with each other this is known as cross linking the nam the nam the nam nam is interconnected i will show you the diagram so this is known as cross linking and this is how the cell wall gets synthesized say yes if you all got it say yes please respond in the chat box you got it can i go so this is the thing i am talking about Mo many of you if you are not knowing what is nam what is nag the full form is in front of you it is n acetyl muramic acid nam and n acetyl glucosamine the nag so one nam one nag n acetyl muramic acid n acetyl glucosamine and they are connected with udp udp nam udp nag okay so we can see one nam one nag one nam one nag the different colors are given you can see and this is one chain this is one chain this is one chain and the various chains are interconnected with each other this is known as cross linking how many of you got the concept of, of the cross linking got it so here is the detailed structure please see this is nam this is nag this is nam this is nag so one nam one nag one nag so you can see alternate now the nam have a pentamer of amino acid there is a chain of pentamer alanine glutamine lysine alanine and alanine so there is a pentamer here also you can see let me zoom out this diagram for you can you see this diagram can you see this is nag this is nam this is nag this is nam i am interested in nam see the nam what i am highlighting a pentamer you can see 1 2 3 4 5 One two three four five. Here also one two three four five. One two three four five. There is there is a tail pentamer of amino acid in the nam, not nag. You can see. So you can see one nam, one nag, one nam, one nag. On the nam there is a tail. There is a tail of amino acid. So actually the D alanine will get split off and the chains are interconnected with each other. I told you na. So this is the one chain, and this is another chain. Okay, just below that this is another chain. Hai na? So in in these chains, this is nam, this is nag, this is nam, this is nag. For example, here it is nag nam, nag nam. For example, right? I am telling you the nam have the chain. So here is a chain pentamer. Here is a chain. Here is a chain. Here is a chain. Here is a chain. So my point is that my point is that the chains are interconnected. It is forming the cross linking. And for forming the cross linking, there is an enzyme which is required. The name of the enzyme is transpeptidase. Transpeptidase is the name of the enzyme. Say yes if you got it, huh? So transpeptidase is doing the cross linking. Huh? Now cross linking के लिए we require transpeptidase. And what the things are connected? The nam, nam. So here the nam is connected with the nam. So you know, 
So it is not the Nag. It is Nam, 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 which is having the pentamer chain. It is connected with the Nam here. You know, so the D alanine content will get split off the energy released. It is utilized by transpeptidase and the cross-linking takes place. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you got the concept of the cross-linking. So this is how cell wall gets synthesized. I am interested in this cross-linking. In this cross-linking. I am saying for cross-linking, the enzyme is required. The name of the enzyme is transpeptidase. This is how the cell wall synthesis takes place in bacteria. Everyone give me a thumbs up. All those who are attending live. Got it? Huh? So when NAM and NAG, they alternatively come... In the NAM, there is a pentamer. In the pentamer, the D-alanine will split and the cross-linking take place. For cross-linking, we require an enzyme that is transpeptidase. You can see this is how cross-linking is taking place. The two chains are connected with each other. Got it? Got it. Now, what does beta-lectam antibiotics do? They inhibit this transpeptidase. No transpeptidase enzyme, they inhibit transpeptidase. Simply, no transpeptidase, no cross-linking. You can see this cross-linking cannot take place. This cross-linking cannot take place. Cross-linking. So, all the chains will separate from each other and the cell wall will disintegrate. If you want the cell wall to be stable, they should be connected with each other. If they are not connected, no cross-linking, the cell wall will disrupt. So simply beta-lactam antibiotics, you can see, you can see. So here, you can see here cross-linking is there, here cross-linking is there, here cross-linking is there, here cross You can see the pentamer chains are connected. This is one chain, this is one chain. And they are connected by cross-linking. But, but beta-lactam antibiotic, it is inhibiting transpeptidase. So you can see, you can see the Transpeptidase is inhibited, so cross-linking is broken down. No cross-linking, the chains will separate it and the cell wall will get disintegrated. So if the cell wall gets disintegrated, cell wall deficient forms are produced in a multiplying bacteria. So the bacteria will swell and burst. Now this is a bacteria, this is a cell wall. I know you are giving beta-lactam antibiotics. One of the beta-lactam antibiotic may be penicillin, cephalosporin, monobactam, carbipenam. So it is going inside. After going inside, it is inhibiting the transpeptidase so, so that so that the cross-linking do not take place. Now, this bacteria will not die. It already have the cell wall. Ye nahi marega. But this bacteria, uh, I mean, if it is static, it will not die. But if it keep on dividing, you know, while dividing, the cell wall had, has to be duplicated. So when it is dividing, it will die because cell wall deficient forms will be produced and they will burst out. So it is active only in dividing bacteria, not in static bacteria. So this is also a rule. That's why beta-lactam antibiotics are active against multiplying bacteria, not against active bacteria, uh, static bacteria. If the bacteria is multiplying, the bacteria will die. It is bacteriocidal. The bacteria will die. It is not bacteriostatic. It will kill the bacteria. No cell wall, the bacteria will burst. The bacteria will show the lysis. Bacteria will burst. It's bacteriocidal. Got my point? Anyone have any confusion? Now you tell me the diagram of gram-positive bacteria cell wall and gram-negative bacteria cell wall. Can you see this is the cell membrane? Please appreciate this is the cell membrane over which there is a cell wall. Let me show you the cell membrane. This is a cell membrane. This is a cell membrane over which there is a cell wall. Now see the cell wall of gram positive. See the cell wall of gram negative. So I want you to appreciate the peptidoglycan content ka thickness. So see the thickness of peptidoglycan content here and see the thickness of peptidoglycan content here. So in gram positive peptidoglycan content is thicker and in gram negative it's thin. Hana? In both of them it's same. It's nam, nag, nam, nag. Now, NAG and cross-linking is there. So, this is one chain connected with the other, connected with the other. Cross-linking is there because of transpeptidase. Here also, NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. Now, if you give beta-lactam here and if you give beta-lactam here, you tell me beta-lactam will be more effective in which bacteria? Use your common sense and tell. What is the mechanism of action of beta-lactam? It inhibits cell wall synthesis. It inhibits the peptidoglycan content of the cell wall. Uh, the cross-linking in the peptidoglycan content to be specific. So no cross-linking. So here is more peptidoglycan content, more cross-linking. So that will be inhibited. And here is less peptidoglycan content, less cross-linking. So you know here, here effect is not much. So the beta-lactam antibiotics are more effective in killing gram-positive bacteria. And they are less effective in killing gram-negative bacteria. This is the reason. This is the reason. I hope it's also conceptual. So gram-positive bacteria, here there is more cross-linking, it's more uh, effective. Gram-negative bacteria, less cross-linking, less effective. So the high susceptibility in gram-positive, no need to learn, you have to understand it. You have to understand it. Absolutely right, Dr. Amit. Absolutely right. Got my point? It is more effective. So what I taught you till now, what I taught you, I taught you two things. I have started a chapter today in pharmacology. I started with beta Lactam antibiotics. Hannah, I taught you three things. Number one, what is the structure? 
Why beta lactams are known as beta lactams? I taught you the classification. It contains four drugs. You should know the name of the four drugs. And I taught you the mechanism of action. In short, if you tell me this, the fourth thing I will tell you the resistance. There are three or four important mechanism of resistance, ultra important to understand and very difficult. I will tell you that, but before that, let's revise. So why, why the beta lactams are known as beta lactam? Because in their structure, they have a ring. A four-sided ring in which three carbons are there and one nitrogen is there. This ring is known as beta lactam and it is important for antimicrobial activity for these antibiotics. That's why these are known as beta lactam. Say yes if you got it. So this is the structure. I guess you understand it. Now in the classification, I told you there are four drugs: penicillin, cephalosporin, carbipenem, monobactam. They all four, the mechanism of action is same. They all four have beta lactam ring. That's why known as beta lactam antibiotics. And mechanism of action of all four is same. You can learn physics, chemistry, max, PCM, PCCM. You can learn on mnemonic. Okay, chalo. Coming on mechanism of action. I told you the mechanism of action. They all inhibit an enzyme. The name of the enzyme is transpeptidase. Transpeptidase. You say, ma'am, what does this enzyme do? Normally, this enzyme is required for cross-linking. The cross-linking in the cell wall, nam, 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 the various, the various chains. So this is one chain, this is another chain. So this is alternate nam, 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 nam. This is also alternate, alternate nam, nam. So the nam of this chain and nam of this chain, they are connected with each other. That is cross-linking and for that transpeptide is required. No transpeptide is no cross-linking. Because it is inhibiting uh, transpeptidase. No transpeptidase, no cross-linking. No cross-linking, the cell wall will disintegrate. And cell wall deficient forms are formed. That will swell and burst out the, the lysis. The lysis of the bacteria. The bacteria get killed. So that's why they are bacteriocidal, not bacteriostatic. Learn. They are bacteriocidal. <clears throat> they are not bacteriostatic. I told you they are more active in gram-positive as compared to gram-negative. I told you the reason also. Hana, the reason also. Hana, you can understand. Because it is more peptidoglycan content in gram-positive as compared to gram-negative. Now coming on the resistance. We have revised till now. Can we go ahead? Okay. What is the confusion, Dr. Amit? Once confusion, if there is less thickness, the drug should be more effective. Less thickness, how the drug will be more effective? The point is that Dr. Amit, uh, here cross-linking is not here. So, beta lecta market is scared. There is a gram-positive bacteria, there is a gram-negative bacteria. See, Dr. Amit, there is gram-positive, there is gram-negative. The two bacteria are there. Here the peptidoglycan content is more. Here the peptidoglycan content is less and other, other things are there. Apart from peptidoglycan content, there is outer membrane, there is, there is um, you know, other structures are there, uh, periplasmic space, huh, no? but peptidoglycan content is less in gram-negative. Huh, no? So here also alternate nam, nag, nam, nag is there. Here also alternate nam, nag, nam, nag is there. Now when the beta lactam is coming, this is beta lactam antibiotic, any of the four. Here the cross-linking breakage will be more. So cell wall will be completely disrupted because it is having maximum cross-linking. Here even if the cross-linking will be broken, apart from the cross-linking, the peptidoglycan, there are other structures also. You know, it is having outer membrane also, lipid A also, core polysaccharide also, you know, other things are also present in the cell wall. So these are not damaged. So still the cell wall is integrated. It is not completely disrupted. You got it, Dr. Amit, say yes if you got it. You got it. So that's why it is more effective on gram positive as compared to gram negative. Okay. So it is more killing gram positive because in gram positive only peptidoglycan is There is nothing else. So if the peptidoglycan is gone, the cell wall is gone. But in gram negative, apart from peptidoglycan, other things are also there. Beta lactam will degrade the peptidoglycan, but it will not degrade other things. So peptidoglycan is gone here also. I agree. I agree. But here other things are there to provide the stability to the cell wall. So cell wall is not completely disrupted. This is the reason. I hope you got it. Now, coming on resistance. Resistance. So I told you this is my patient. My patient is having a bacterial infection. The patient is coming to me, doctor, I am having pus somewhere or some bacterial infection. So I want to treat my patient. So there are bacteria in my patient. These are the bacteria present inside the body of my patient. I want to kill them. These are the bacteria. I want to kill them. So to treat my patient, I have given a beta lactam antibiotic. Beta lactam antibiotic. I ask the patient to take a tablet or injection of the beta lactam. So beta lactam is going inside and the beta lactam is inhibiting the cell wall in these bacteria and killing the bacteria. Hannah, but bacteria do not want to get killed. So basically I'm doing the murder. Being a doctor, I'm doing the murder of the bacteria, not the patient. I want to treat my patient. That's why I have to kill the bacteria. If I want my patient to be cured, I have to kill the bacteria. So I have to murder the bacteria. So we are murdering the bacteria by providing a drug beta lactam. Nobody likes the murder. If someone murder me, I will ask for defense. 
I will do the defense. Bacteria will also do the defense. Hana, what is the defense mechanism? Bacteria will provide the resistance. Bacteria do not want to get killed. Nobody wants to get killed. Hana, so bacteria do not want to get killed by this antibiotic. So bacteria produce resistance. Resistance is the defense. If someone is killing me, I will protect myself. So that is the defense. In the same way, bacteria is also providing the defense. There are four mechanisms. Because bacteria do not want to get killed. We want to kill the bacteria for our benefit. But bacteria do not want to get killed. So bacteria will produce resistance. There are four ways of producing resistance. See everyone here. Got it? Okay. Uh, listen. So, can you see this cell is bacterial cell. First, you understand this cell is bacterial. It is not a human cell. This cell is present inside my patient's body. There is a patient in front of me. Inside the patient, this bacteria is present. And this is causing infection in my patient. So I want to kill this bacteria. So that my patient is happy. My patient is cured. So I am asking the patient to take a drug that is beta-lactam. Either I am injecting directly or I am giving orally. So it is absorbed and going in the blood. So this is the beta-lactam antibiotic. Can you see? So number one, the bacteria will decrease the influx. The first mechanism. Can you see influx? Bacteria will produce certain mechanism by which the influx of the drug is decreased. Decreased permeability in the cell membrane. Kuch aisa karega ki drug uske andar gusi na pai. Ha na? The, the drug, the beta lactam cannot enter inside. If the drug cannot enter inside the bacteria, how it can kill the bacteria? So the first defense, he closes the door. The bacteria is closing the door in the cell membrane so the drug cannot enter. So that is known as decreased influx. That is the first mechanism. Ha na? Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work. So someone is coming to kill me at my home. I will close the door. The first thing I will do, oh, close the door so that the murderer cannot come inside. In the same way, the bacteria is also closing the door so that beta lactam cannot enter. The first thing that decreases influx. If the if if the drug is still entering, still it is entering. You can see so increase efflux. The second mechanism. Hana, there are pumps which are known as vacuum cleaners. These are known as vacuum cleaners that will do the efflux. So we are throwing it out. So some murderer is coming to to kill me inside my home. The first thing I will close the door tightly so that it cannot enter. By, by breaking it, even if the murder is entering, I will throw it out and again close the door. Hana. So, decrease influx and increase efflux. Say, decrease influx or increase efflux. These are the main two mechanisms. The first mechanism is decrease influx and second is increase efflux. That is the vacuum cleaner. Once the drug is intracellular, it is again thrown out with the help of the vacuum cleaner. So these are the two mechanisms. Okay, but the third and the most important mechanism. Still, if the drug is entering inside, can you see this is a beta-lactam? How I identified this is a beta-lactam? It is having a ring, the beta-lactam ring. Can you see the four-sided ring? So beta-lactam, Hana. So these two mechanisms are not working. Still, the murderer, the antibiotic have entered. The antibiotic have entered inside and that want to kill the bacteria. The bacteria is a villain and the antibiotic is a hero. The hero want to kill the villain. Hana, you can learn like that. So this is beta lactam. This is beta lactam. Now this villain, the bacteria is very clever. You know, bacteria are very smart. They are very clever. Hana. So first mechanism, they will close the door. They, they do not want the hero to enter and the antibiotic to enter and kill them. The second mechanism, if it is entering, they are throwing it out with the help of vacuum cleaner. The third mechanism, still if the antibiotic is in, Still, if it is in, they will produce the enzymes inside them. The name of the enzyme is beta-lactamase. Beta-lactamase. Hannah, what is beta-lactamase enzyme that will degrade the beta-lactam ring? Hannah, that will, that will. So, before the antibiotic kill bacteria, the bacteria is killing the antibiotic. You are getting my point. Before this antibiotic shows its action, it inhibits cell wall synthesis. The bacteria is killing. It is degrading the antibiotic. Ki tu mujhe kya marega? Main tujhe maar dunga. So this is by the help of enzyme. What is the name of the enzyme? The bacteria want to degrade beta-lactam antibiotic. So it produces an enzyme known as beta-lactamase. Beta-lactamase. Also known as penicillinase. Beta-lactamase or penicillinase is the enzyme that will degrade this ring. Can you see this ring? So there are three carbons and one nitrogen. So where is the break? Which portion of the ring is broken by this enzyme? So the bond between, between carbon and nitrogen. Can you see this bond between carbon and nitrogen? Here the break is. So, you know, the ring is like this. So it is a four-sided ring. So here carbon, 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 nitrogen. So beta-lactamase enzyme give a break here. So the ring become open. The ring will become open. Hannah, you can see here is the ring. Can you see the ring? Appreciate the ring. Here see the ring is open. The ring is open because this bond is broken now the antibiotic is ineffective Hana. so beta lactamase enzyme is produced that will hydrolyze the ring the ring will open and they are no more no more effective now so that is the enzymatic activity so either say beta lactamase enzyme or say penicillinase enzyme Ek hi baat hai. beta lactamase or penicillinase is one and the same say yes it is one and the same enzyme 
got my point that is the third mechanism hai na so bacteria are very smart we i am a doctor i want to kill the bacteria which is present inside the body of my patient now i have given a drug that is beta lactam the drug is entering inside the bacteria but bacteria have already produced the enzyme uska bandobast kar diya hai the bacteria is prepared as soon as the antibiotic will come before antibiotic kill me i will degrade it i will degrade it so bacteria are very smart even smarter than humans you can say but we are also not less smart now what we have done now see the bacteria are zyada smart hai na wo log so what we have done humne kya kiya we have covered the ring hai na we are making fool the bacteria we are making bacteria fool i mean we are just covering the ring hai na ghungat pehna do hindi mein kahun to ghungat pehna ke bhej do so that the ring is not visible if the ring is not visible the enzyme is present the enzyme will degrade only if the ring is visible ring dikhegi to to degrade karega this enzyme is present now i will send it i will send it these are known as penicillinase resistant penicillin such penicillins which are penicillinase resistant now if i if i send a normal penicillin the enzyme is present that will degrade it but i have sent the penicillin with a ghungat with a cover you can say with a cover with a cover so i have covered the ring with multiple side chains i have applied multiple side chains so this is known as penicillinase resistant penicillin now the ring is not visible so bacteria cannot i mean the enzyme of the bacteria cannot identify and degrade it and this will silently go and inhibit the cell wall synthesis so we are not less smart na we are all the humans we are more smart than the bacteria so we have taken one step ahead bacteria ne enzyme banaya aur hamari ring ko tod diya antibiotic ki ring ko to humne us ring ko cover karke bhej diya ki lo ab kaise todega you got my point say yes you understand hindi say yes if you got it so this is this is known one of the important penicillinase resistant penicillin what is penicillinase resistant penicillin a penicillin with a ghungat that is a side chain in which the beta lactam ring is covered you know a penicillin with a cover with a cover which is covering the beta lactam that is known as penicillinase resistant penicillin one of the best example is methicillin ha na so bacteria are also very smart they have taken one more step the fourth and the last uh, mechanism what is the first mechanism see ma'am the door is closed in flux is left hana if still the antibiotic is entering it is the throw out that is efflux is more that is the second mechanism the third mechanism if still the antibiotic is entering still it is entering so the enzymatic action it is producing the enzyme you can see the star is the enzyme either say beta lactamase or penicillinase hana still it is it is degrading the ring the fourth and the last mechanism you know so what does this antibiotic do after entering inside what does it do say so, ma'am it will go to nam and nag nam nag nam nag it will go in the cell wall and bind to a receptor bind to a receptor and inhibit the transpeptidase so the receptor of the penicillin is known as penicillin binding protein pbb which is present on the cell wall so penicillin will go and it will bind with pbb penicillin binding protein it is the receptor for penicillin it will bind and after binding it will inhibit the transpeptidase and do its action hai na so what the bacteria is doing bacteria bacteria is altering the pbb है ना कि सौ सुनार की एक लोहार के यू गॉट माई पॉइंट सो वेदर बैक्टीरिया इज ट्राइंग एट दिस लेवल ट्राइंग एट दिस लेवल ट्राइंग एट दिस लेवल इफ नथिंग इज वर्किंग एट द एंड द बैक्टीरिया इज अल्टरिंग द पी बी बी बाय वॉट इफ स्टिल द एंटीबायोटिक इज प्रेजेंट इट कैन नॉट बाइंड विद इट्स विद इट्स रिसेप्टर इफ द एंटीबायोटिक कैन नॉट बाइंड विद इट्स रिसेप्टर हाउ डज इट शो इट सेक्शन so ultimately antibiotic is not showing its action hai na here even methicillin is non functional methicillin if you give the antibiotic with a cover still it is not functional so whatever you give with a cover or without cover whatever penicillin you are giving ultimately it will go and bind with the receptor if the receptors are blocked they are altered i mean so it cannot bind everyone say yes if you got it ha huh? say yes say yes if you all got it ha huh? yes amit so ghungat wala ya bina ghungat wala koi bhi functional nahi hai bacteria are very smart जैसे कि अच्छा घूंघट लगा के भेजा कोई बात नहीं अब क्या करोगे मैंने रिसेप्टर ही बदल दिया अब घूंघट वाला है या बिना घूंघट वाला है क्या फर्क पड़ता है जब रिसेप्टर ही नहीं है तुम्हारे पास तो तो नथिंग विल बी फंक्शनल इवन मैथिलिन विल नॉट फंक्शनल एंड दैट विल क्रिएट मैथिलिन रेजिस्टेंट स्टेपोरियस दैट इज द मर्सा that is the resistance mechanism in mrsa methicillin resistant staphorius it is seen in staphorius and it is even resistant with methicillin yani ghungat wale se bhi nahi marega that is mrsa most resistant to kill ab kaise maroge none of the penicillin can kill it you have to give another drug you have to give vancomycin the drug of choice here will be vancomycin say yes if you all got it does anyone have any confusion so what are the four mechanism of resistance now this is a bacteria the first thing make clear in your mind this is a bacteria this bacteria can you see the cell it is present in my patient's body and i am a doctor my job is to treat my patient i want to kill this bacteria i want to murder this bacteria so that my patient can be cured and treated so i want to kill it that's why i'm giving a antibiotic 
to kill this. The name of the antibiotic is beta lactam. But bacteria do not want to get killed. Nobody wants killing. Hey no? So bacteria is producing four mechanisms. Number one, it will decrease the influx. By any mechanism, it will close the door so that antibiotic cannot enter. If the antibiotic is breaking the door and going inside, zabardasti. Hey no? So it is, it is using the vacuum cleaner. So that it is again throwing it out. So decrease in flux, increase in flux. Hana. So these are two mechanisms. The third mechanism, the bacteria is producing an, an enzyme. The name of the enzyme is beta lactamase or penicillinase. That is degrading the ring. Here, degrading the ring become open. Hana. So before the antibiotic kills the bacteria, the bacteria is degrading the antibiotic or killing the antibiotic. So I will break you. So that is the thing. Hana. Either the bacteria is closing the door or once it is entered, it is throwing it out or it is, it is breaking the head of this by it it is breaking the head of this by a you know dande te maar raha usko it is breaking the ring so that is beta lactamase or penicillinase hai na so what you have done now you have covered it with the side chain that is penicillinase resistant penicillin that is methicillin you are giving so that this mechanism we are we are overcoming this mechanism hai na so the fourth and the last mechanism penicillin binding protein ultimately whatever penicillin you will give it will go and bind with its receptor and then show its action so you are the bacteria is altering that receptor the name of the receptor is pbb penicillin binding protein it is altered so whatever is the penicillin it cannot bind with its receptor if it cannot bind with its receptor in the cell wall how it can show its action so these are the four mechanism i hope everyone got it you get you get many questions out of that Hana. so the four mechanism of resistance in a bacteria for beta lactam what are the four mechanism one two three four enumerate the first is decrease in flux the second is increase efflux the third is enzymatic action in enzymatic learn two names either say either say beta lactamase enzyme or say penicillinase enzyme penicillinase enzyme one and the same thing that is enzyme is degrading and the last and ultra important is penicillin binding protein is altered it is altered alteration altered of penicillin binding protein so here here uh, the methicillin will be effective but here even methicillin is not effective so here the bacteria are known as MRSA methicillin resistant step aureus I hope it's crystal clear to you I hope I know so I tried my best so let's start now let's start so what I taught you I taught you I started a chapter known as beta lactam antibiotics in the morning okay I taught you their structure Number one, they have a beta lactam ring. You have to understand the beta lactam ring. Number one. Number two, I told you the classification. In the classification, there are four drugs penicillin, cephalosporin, monobactam, and carbipinam. Carbipinam and monobactam. You can learn in the sequence. Okay. I told you their mechanism of action. All beta lactam antibiotic inhibit an enzyme. The name of the enzyme is transpeptidase. If there is no transpeptidase, no cross linking. No cross linking, the bacteria cell wall will get degenerated and the bacteria will burst out they are bacteriocidal more effective in gram positive as compared to gram negative this is all we have learned in mechanism of action and finally we have learned the four mechanism of the resistance i taught you now now i will take penicillins in detail in today's session i know um, i wish i could compete all four today but the time is limited but at least we will compete entire penicillin today out of the four beta lactam one of the beta lactam is covered but the remaining three you already know their mechanism of action. That's same for all. You already know their mechanism of resistance. You already know their structure. So these things are common for all. But now I will give you the details of penicillin. Okay. So let's start penicillin. Penicillin is the first antibiotic to be discovered in this world. So the name of the scientist who discovered it, the great scientist who discovered penicillin, that is Alexander Fleming. That's why Alexander is known as father of antibiotic. He has discovered the first antibiotic and the name of that antibiotic is penicillin. Okay, it is discovered in fungus. It is, it is uh, obtained from the fungus naturally. Uh, the name of the fungus is Penicillum notum, notatum and Penicillum chrysogenum. This is the name of the fungus inside which we obtain the natural penicillin. Okay, this is the classification. The first thing you have to learn the classification. You already know the mechanism of action. Now you have to understand the classification. All of them, the mechanism of action is same. They all are inhibiting the transpeptidase enzyme, inhibiting the cross-linking. But you have to learn the classification. There are three types of penicillin. Natural penicillin, okay? Synthetic penicillin. This is natural, this is synthetic. Semi-synthetic or synthetic. So this is natural or synthetic, matlab artificial. These are artificial. These are man-made, okay, artificial. And the third is beta lactamase inhibitor. I will explain that also. Anna. So learn first these two categories, natural and synthetic. Natural penicillin is only one. Benzyl penicillin, also known as penicillin G. One and the same thing. Both are same. These are synonym. Either say benzyl penicillin or say penicillin G. One and the same. Only one natural is there. What is the name of natural penicillin? 
प्लीज लॉन नेचुरल एक ही है ओनली वन नेचुरल पैनासिलन इज देयर द नेम ऑफ द पैनासिलन इज बेंजाइल पैनासिलन आल्सो नोन एज पैनासिलन जी पैनासिलन जी ओनली वन सो लेट्स रीड इट फर्स्ट बट देयर आर थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स यू से मैम नेचुरल है तो व्हाई देयर इज अ नीड टू मेक आर्टिफिशियल वी हैव द नेचुरल नाउ यूज दैट ओनली व्हाई यू आर सिंथेसाइजिंग आर्टिफिशियली देयर आर थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स इन नेचुरल व्हाट आर द थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स नंबर 1 नेचुरल is not effective orally if you give a tablet of penicillin g that is benzyl penicillin it will go inside and inside and inside in the stomach the hcl will degrade it so in the stomach the hcl present in the stomach that will degrade the natural penicillin it is acid labile what we say it is acid labile it is not effective orally that's why you have to give injections every time injections are not comfortable to the patient none of the patient like injection if you ask me ma'am you want to take a tablet or injection i will opt tablet everyone opt tablet most of the patients ha na because it is convenient non painful route but injection every time is painful not comfortable you know so here you have to give injections it is effective only injectable but you cannot give it orally because it is acid labile this is the first problem with the natural one natural one is good but injections are there oral is not there because it is acid labile it is not acid stable this is the first problem with the natural the second problem it is susceptible to the enzyme penicillinase ha na so enzyme pehle se bana ke baitha hai jitne bhi natural hai na all the bacteria in this world whatever bacteria you say gram positive gram negative coca bacilli hai they all have the enzyme for the natural penicillin है ना एज सुन एज अचुर बिकॉज इट इज द फर्स्ट एंटीबायोटिक डिस्कवर ना आप सारे बैक्टीरिया को पता है कि ये एक एंटीबायोटिक है इसके लिए पहले से ही तैयारी रखो डंडा बना के रखो द एंजाइम आई कॉल द एंजाइम एज डंडा एज सुन एज इट इज एंट्रिंग इन साइड यू नो जस्ट ब्रेक द हेड है ना जस्ट ब्रेक द रिंग आई मीन डंडा मार के तोड़ दो उसको है ना बिफोर द एंटीबायोटिक किलर्स द नेचुरल पैनासिलन किलर्स वी विल किल द नेचुरल पैनासिलन सो फॉर नेचुरल पैनासिलन ऑल द बैक्टीरिया ऑलरेडी हैव द पैनासिलन इज so it is ineffective in most of the bacteria penicillinase is already there susceptibility to the penicillinase number 1 uh, the second problem and the third problem it is effective only in gram positive not in gram negative you know the reason why it is more effective in gram positive it is hardly effective so narrow spectrum of activity so these are the three problems with the natural that's why we have we have uh, created we have synthesized the artificial say the three shortcomings what are the three shortcomings or three problems or three limitations what are the three problems three limitations or three shortcomings of the natural penicillin what is natural penicillin say ma'am benzyl penicillin the natural penicillin is benzyl penicillin also known as penicillin g this is natural penicillin there are three problems with this number 1 it is not effective orally no because it is acid labile it is acid labile so we have to give the injection the first problem the second problem it is the penicillinase enzyme is already there in the bacteria penicillinase susceptible Okay, so all the bacteria already have penicillinase for this one. Okay, and the third one, it is having narrow spectrum. It kill only gram positive. It do not kill gram negative. So because of these three problems, we have to synthesize the artificial one. So artificial one, we have synthesized three categories. Listen, listen. There are three type of artificial. One for each shortcoming. The first penicillin we have synthesized artificially. semi synthetic it is a penicillin which is acid resistant it is acid stable you can give the tablets very easily but still the other two problems exist here also here also it is narrow spectrum and here also he, uh, penicillin is enzyme is present so other two shortcomings are present but one of them is removed one of the limitation one of the shortcoming one of the problem is removed that is uh, acid stability not is acid stable it is not acid labile so you can give the tablets so here also we have only one penicillin the name of the that penicillin is phenoxymethyl penicillin phenoxymethyl penicillin or penicillin b penicillin b this was penicillin g this is penicillin v g is natural v is artificial it is the only difference between g and v this one is acid labile this one is acid stable that's it no other difference the other two shortcomings are common for both of them i hope you are getting it ha huh? the second type of artificial penicillins we have created is penicillinase resistant gungat wale ha na i call them cover gungat ha na because one of the shortcoming was they were killed by the penicillinase enzyme penicillinase enzyme was already present so we do not want it is degraded so we have given a cover cover or gungat ha na so gungat wale so these all are these all are with a cover the penicillins with a cover so there are five penicillins here you can learn a mnemonic condom c for cloxacillin o for oxacillin n for nep nep nepcillin d for dacloxafenin o is nothing o you can repeat oxacillin and m is methicillin c C O and you can use D M D O दूसरा O नहीं है है ना so C O and D M C O and D M these are the five with a cover they have a cover over the ring so here there is a ring the beta lactam ring is there 
बट ऑन द बीटा लेक्टाम रिंग यू कैन सी दाइड चेंज द साइड चेंज इट्स कवर है ना सो सी द फुल फॉर्म सी द फुल फॉर्म हाउ मेनी आर देयर प्लीज लर्न हाउ मेनी आर देयर क्लॉक्सा सिलिन डिक्लॉक्सा सिलिन क्लॉक्सा डिक्लॉक्सा ऑक्सा क्लॉक्सा डिक्लॉक्सा ऑक्सा नेपलीसिलिन एंड मैथेसिलिन है ना द बेस्ट इज मैथेसिलिन द बेस्ट अमंग दम इज मैथेसिलिन सो दीज आर विद अ कवर सो हियर आउट ऑफ द थ्री शॉर्ट कमिंग वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व दिस वन they are not killed by the enzyme because they have a ghungar they have a cover hai na but they are acid labile hai na again you have to give the injections hai na some of them are acid labile some of them are acid stable i will give you the list among them so this and but they all are active only for gram positive not for gram negative so other two shortcomings are still there we have solved one of them right and the last category we have we have extended the spectrum we have extended the spectrum we want to increase the spectrum we want such penicillin that kill gram positive also and gram negative also so we want to increase the spectrum so we have to give some additional group in that structure ha na if we give amino group it is amino penicillin if we give carboxy group it is carboxy penicillin if we give uridyl group it is uridyl penicillin so with spectrum so here only gram positive with few gram negative i will enumerate teen char hi cover karega yahan pe gram positive and spectrum will release it will include pseudomonas also aur yahan pe spectrum bahut wide ho jayega i will tell you the spectrum when i will give you the details first learn the three categories amino carboxy and uridyl in the amino we have two aa amoxicillin and um, ampicillin aa amoxy and ampicillin in the carboxy we have two ct carb carbicillin and ticarcillin okay and in the uridyl we have three map map mazlocillin azlocillin piperacillin so you can learn aa ct map right see i am writing the classification in front of you everyone on the screen penicillins learn penicillins say ma'am there are two penicillin natural artificial natural and artificial the third category i will tell you separately so there is natural and not artificial Artificial or semi-synthetic, one and the same thing. Hana. In the natural, we have only one, only one. Can you name that? Say, ma'am, benzyl penicillin, also known as penicillin G. Okay, G. Hana. Coming on the artificial one. Coming on the artificial one. There are three problems in this. So we have why we have created artificial because there are three problems. We want to overcome the three problem. That's why we have created three artificial. The first problem with the natural one was it is acid labile. so we have created acid resistant the one which is resistant to the acid hai na the second problem it is penicillinase susceptible so second we have created penicillinase resistant penicillinase resistant one and the third they have narrow spectrum they have very they kill only gram positive not so the third we have created is extended spectrum extended spectrum everyone say yes so we have we have overcome one 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 limitation there were three problems three limitation three shortcoming we have overcome them by creating the synthetic versions say yes so here acid resistant is only one ha na it is penicillin v penicillin v this was penicillin g this is penicillin v penicillin v also known as phenoxy phenoxy penicillin ha na phenoxy Uh, uh this penicillin okay this was benzyl penicillin so only difference between g and v this is acid labile this is acid stable rest all is same in both of them okay coming on penicillinase resistant here the mnemonic is c o n d m condom you can learn ha na they have a cover over them they have a side chains they have a gungard so that the enzyme cannot recognize them they are under cover agents you can learn like that so it's cloxa dicloxa oxa nepliselin methicillin you can learn the five please learn it and coming on the extended spectrum we have divided them in three category the one with amino group the one with carboxy group amino penicillin carboxy penicillin and uridyl uridyl penicillin amino carboxy and uridyl so here the mnemonic is a a c t map a a c t map they all have extended spectrum the best are the map the map are the best having the widest spectrum i will tell you the spectrum in detail wait a while wait a while so here ampicillin amoxicillin aa ha na ct is carbi carbicillin and ticarcillin carbicillin and ticarcillin ct and map is mesocillin as mesocillin we will see the full form here mesocillin azlocillin and piperacillin map map say yes everyone got it so first learn the names understand this category i will tell, tell you separately let me finish these first so let's start with the natural Let's start with the natural. Okay, natural. I told you now only one natural. Benzyl penicillin or penicillin G. You have to learn the three problems with that. You already understood the three problems. Okay, and for that we have discovered three artificial. What are the adverse effect and what are the uses? Mechanism of action of all of them is same. All of them mechanism of action is same. They inhibit cross linking in the bacteria. They inhibit the enzyme trans peptidase. That is cross linking. You get a question on that. What are the adverse effects of natural penicillin? There are three adverse effects. Local irritancy, है ना? You give injection, so the, the injection is very painful, है ना? There is a 
pain at the site of the injection. So it is local irritancy, number one. Number two, allergy. And it is a very important antibiotic in which allergy happens. The most common allergy happens here, number two. And number three is Jarish Hax Emer reaction. This is Jarish, pronounce it Hax Emer reaction. Hax Emer reaction. What do you mean by Jarish Hax Emer reaction? Now, uh, the penicillin is given in syphilis. You know, this is the blood vessel of a person. The person is having syphilis. The person is having syphilis. So this is the bacteria causing the syphilis that is trypanoma pallidium. The name of the bacteria which causes syphilis is trypanoma pallidium. So this is trypanoma pallidium. This person has syphilis because the blood vessel contains the bacteria. Okay, I want to treat my patient. I want to treat the syphilis. So I'm giving a drug. The name of the drug is natural penicillin. I'm giving penicillin G to treat it. Anna, this penicillin G will go inside, enter the bacteria, inhibit the cell wall synthesis so bacteria will rupture. Bacteria will rupture. Bacteria will rupture. Anna, the bacteria lysis. Bacteria will rupture. All the bacteria will rupture. Once the bacteria will rupture, na, so this is the spirochete, trypanoma pallidium. The fragments are present in the blood. And these fragments, because of the rupture, they produce allergy in the patient. That is hypersensitivity in the patient. They produce hypersensitivity in the patient. You are getting my point. Because of the hypersensitivity, patient feel more sick on giving the drug. Hannah, there is a syphilis patient coming to my clinic. I have made the diagnosis. Oh, you have syphilis. You should take the treatment. So let me give you penicillin G. Patient has taken one, one, I have given one injection, it's not tablet. So I have given the injection of penicillin G, but after taking the injection, patient is feeling more worse. So patient will give me a call that doctor, you have given me the treatment, but after treatment, I'm not feeling better. My lesions are increased and I'm feeling more worse. I'm having fever and I'm having more. So don't stop the treatment. Just consult. Yes, it happens normally. It is one of the side effects. It is not due to the drug. It is. It means the drug is responding. You know, the drug have ruptured the bacteria and because the rupture, the lysis, you have this reaction. This is known as jarish hexima reaction. Just ask the patient to take the sedative, to take the aspirin, to take some painkiller. Wait for uh, next two, three days. In the 72 hours, it will subside. Don't stop the treatment because of that. So this is known as jarish hexima reaction. How many of you got it? How many of you got it? Please respond in the chat box. Keep interacting. Huh? It's a live session. Okay, you can ask your doubts. You can interact. Say yes. So penicillin is injected in a syphilitic patient. It will cause sudden release of the lytic products. As soon as the battery will rupture, there will be lytic products. The lytic products will produce the shivering, fever, myalgia, exacerbation of the lesion, and sometimes vascular collapse and shock also. So patient will get afraid. The doctor, I'm feeling more sick after taking your treatment. Shall I start the stop the treatment? Your treatment is not working, even making in me worse. So ask the patient, don't, don't stop it. It will last for 72 hours and it's normal. So don't get panic. Just take rest. Anna, don't interrupt the therapy. Do not interrupt the therapy. Continue it and take just uh, aspirin and, uh, you know, uh, some sedative. And in the 72 hours, it will be subsided. So the three side effects is local irritancy, allergy, and jarish hexema reaction. The most important is jarish hexema reaction on which maximum questions come. Now, what are the uses? What are the uses? I'm talking about the first penicillin, the natural penicillin. The natural penicillin. So I taught you three, three problems, three shortcomings. Three side effects, no uses. The last thing is the uses. So there are two types of uses of penicillin G. That is natural penicillin, benzyl penicillin. One is therapeutic use, one is prophylactic use. Therapeutic use means we give penicillin after the disease. Anna, in all these diseases. And I will give you a mnemonic. And prophylactic, we give it before the disease as a prophylaxis. So in these three diseases, we give it beforehand. And in all these, we give it after the disease is happening. So there are two types of uses, therapeutic and prophylactic. Therapeutic, the mnemonic is last man DP. Last man DP. Anna, it's a mnemonic. L stands for leptospira. A stands for actinomycetes. S stands for two things. Strepto streptococcus, stepylococcus. T again stands for two things. Trypanoma. That is syphilis. I told you, no, syphilis me dete hai. And here we have jarish hexima reaction also, I told you. And T for tetanus. M for meningitis. Meningococcus ka meningitis. A N is anthrax. Anthrax and actinomycetes also. Actinomycetes upar ho gaya hai. You can remove. Actinomycetes it is done. D for diphtheria and P for pseudomonas. So last man DP. Penicillin G is first drug of choice. First drug of choice. Last man DP. Hannah. And prophylaxis, we give it at three as a prophylaxis. Number one, rheumatic fever, we give it as a prophylaxis so that next episode do not occur. A granulocytis patient. What is a granulocytosis patient? These patients have less neutrophil, less WBC. Hannah, what is the normal count of WBC? 4,000 to 11,000. We all have. But this is our army, the defense. Imagine someone having less WBC, less than 4,000. So recurrent infections are there. So that we give prophylaxis penicillin ki infection hua nahi usse pehle hi de do. So prophylaxis ke liye we can give penicillin G to them. And third is bacterial endocarditis. 
in the patient who already have some valvular disease whenever we do dental extraction in them endoscopies in them catheterize there is high chance they can get um, endocarditis in them if if they have already valvular disease hai na sabe abe subacute and bacterial endocarditis you may have read this in pathology hai na so we give as a prophylaxis hai na so these are the three diseases rheumatic fever agranulocytosis patient and bacterial endocarditis the mnemonic is drop so tell me the uses okay would you like to say everything about penicillin g let me ask you three questions about penicillin g tell me a natural penicillin only one natural penicillin the name of that penicillin is penicillin g also known as benzyl penicillin now tell me three shortcomings yeah say limitations tell me three limitations tell me three adverse effects and tell me uses basically tell me two type of uses ha na tell me therapeutic uses and tell me prophylactic uses so the natural penicillin chapter is done can you start can you please help me can you please help me ha huh? everyone please write down in the chat box it for your benefit i already know but for your benefit if you write down if you say if you interact it will fit in your permanent memory the three limitations are number 1 it is acid labile and no, it is acid acid susceptible susceptible or labile it get degraded in the hcl we cannot give orally we have to give injection number 1 number 2 it is penicillinase susceptible the enzyme susceptible ha na so once you give the injection also the bacteria have already have the danda for it ha na iske liye to danda bana ke rakha hai kyunki first antibiotic hai na sare bacteria ne inke liye danda bana ke rakha hai so as soon as this enters the danda is ready i mean the enzyme is ready and it will degrade the ring it will be ineffective and third agar danda nahi bhi hai so it is having very narrow spectrum narrow spectrum it kill only gram positive not gram negative so these are the three limitations and there are many questions based on these limitation that's why we have created three um, artificial ones in which one 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 these shortcomings are removed these are overcome okay anyways let me come on the three adverse effects i taught you three adverse effects one two three number one is very uh, easy it's the um, irritation local irritation so pain during injection number 1 number 2 is allergy allergy or hypersensitivity whatever you say and number 3 it's a spe special type of side effect which is seen in syphilitic patient on giving penicillin on giving the injection of penicillin g in syphilitic patient i know it is a drug of choice for syphil syphilis i told you na it is a drug of choice so the name of the reaction is jarish hagzimer reaction it is seen in syphilis so as soon as you give the injection patient will feel more worse because of lytic products of the bacteria but just counsel the patient that it will pass away don't stop the treatment that's the summary okay coming on the uses there are two type of uses therapeutic and prophylactic so therapeutic uses i'm having a mnemonic the mnemonic is last man man ka a n sath mein a and n is together dp hai na and prophylactic uses is rub rab rub you can make some better mnemonic if you have someone share rub ko bar bhi bana sakte ho you can make bar hai na last man dp bar rub whatever you say so just learn it hai na if you have some better version tell me i will share with others okay so this is leptospira this is actinomycetes there is one more an this is anthrax actinomycetes anthrax s is 2 staphylococcus streptococcus t is 2 hai na tetanus and i am forgetting one one is tetanus and one more tetanus and uh, one more t is there i will see m is meningitis d is diphtheria and p is pneumonia please learn that okay one more t is trypanoma syphilis ha ah, syphilis tetanus and syphilis okay syphilis you can if you don't want trypanoma you can add syphilis here whatever you wish okay so penicillin g is the first drug of choice here okay i'm sorry as a prophylaxis we given rheumatic fever okay in a granulocytosis patient and bacterial endocarditis so these are the prophylactic uses you can learn the doses if you wish can we go ahead ha huh? so this is all about natural penicillin we are done we are done with natural are you ready to start artificial let's start artificial we are having three categories to cover let's start the first category first category that is acid resistant alternative the acid resistant version ha na we have only one penicillin here spinoxymethyl penicillin that is penicillin v spinoxymethyl or so we we are synthesizing the three artificial we are having three artificial versions to overcome the three shortcomings you know the three shortcomings so we have overcome them one by one okay so let's start the first one penoxymethyl penicillin or penicillin v penicillin v penicillin v is exactly same as that of penicillin g only only one difference this is acid stable you can give the tablets it is acid stable you can give the tablets everything else is 
same here oral absorption is better you can give the tablets everything else is same the use is the same last man dp the side effects are same hai na jerish eczema and allergy and everything is same everything else is same bas ek hi difference hai here we give injection here we give oral the uses and side effect of both of them the spectrum of both of them is same this is also effective only for gram positive this is also effective only for gram positive they are not effective or less effective for gram negative so everything else is same i repeat my words coming on the next version coming on the next version okay here penicillin resistant okay so what i am saying you okay let's come here penicillin penicillinase resistant penicillin penicillinase resistant what do you mean by penicillinase resistant penicillin first you tell me the meaning but here we were having three shortcomings now one of the shortcoming that penicillinase enzyme degrade the penicillin degrade the enzyme is already present so we want to fool the enzyme this is an enzyme it is already present inside the bacteria as soon as our antibiotic will enter our hero will enter the villain already have a the villain already have a weapon to degrade it to kill it you can learn this is the villain the bacteria is a villain the villain already have a weapon to degrade the hero ha na so that is so we will give the cover to the hero the cover the the hero will enter with a cover so that the villain cannot identify ha na the weapon the weapon will be used you know the enzyme will degrade the ring only if it see the ring if the enzyme do not see the ring how the enzyme will degrade it so we are covering it giving a gungert see see the structures can you see the beta lactam ring let me highlight the beta lactam ring here let me can you see the four four ring four sided ring here four sided ring here everywhere see the beta lactam ring try to see and see the cover over it see the cover we are covering it from all the side ha na so they have a side chain so that they cover the beta lactam ring so that the penicillinase cannot attack this is the purpose gungert is the purpose cover is the purpose got my point so this is the thing so we are giving a cover simply we are giving a cover and you know condom you know the full form of condom c o n d m c o n d m these are the five methicillin is the best cloxacillin oxacillin naficillin dicloxacillin and methicillin methicillin is the best one i told you methicillin is the best one okay so highly penicillin is resistant is methicillin the best one but it is not acid resistant so one of the shortcoming is removed here i told you there were three problems with the natural one now so here this problem is removed uh, that uh, it is not degraded by the enzyme penicillinase because they have the gungert they have the cover but they are acid resistant and they have narrow spectrum so other two problems still persist here the other two problems so only one of the problem is uh, uh, you know it is gone but other two problems is still persist it is not acid resistant it is acid labile so you have to still give the injections you have to still give the injections say yes if you got it say yes if you got it got my point ha na what is mrsa methicillin resistant staph aureus ha na so there is a variant of some bacteria like staph aureus they have created one more mechanism i told you na they have altered uh, uh, this uh, penicillin binding proteins pbb so even you are giving with the side chain even if you are giving with the side chain it will go here to the receptor bind and show its function if you alter the bacteria is altering the receptor so whether you are giving with the side chain or without the side chain you are giving with gungert or without gungert doesn't matter so here the bacteria will not kill so mrsa is highly resistant bacteria to kill here the pbbs are altered in mrsa it is in sensitive to all penicillinase resistant penicillin it is multi drug resistant so drug of choice here is vancomycin you don't kill it with any of the penicillin you cannot kill it because here ultimately gungerto without gungerto the receptor so so narki ek lohar ki i call it ha na so tum jo bhi kar lo ultimately the receptor is blocked if the receptor is blocked penicillin cannot function so you have to give some other drug to kill it so it is very resistant one say yes if you got it got it so we are done we are done with natural in the artificial we are done with the first category that is penicillin v we are done with second category that is penicillin is resistant penicillin that is condom coming on the last category that is extended spectrum can i come on extended spectrum there are three extended spectrum so i told you natural penicillin have three problems the first problem it was acid labile which is which is overcome here now uh, 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 we have to give here in injections but here in penicillin v we can give orally the second shortcoming it was degraded by penicillinase enzyme ha na so this shortcoming is overcome here we have created penicillinase resistant penicillin which have a gungert which have a cover over them the pneumonic is condom the third shortcoming they were narrow spectrum they kill only gram positive not gram negative so here we are extending the spectrum so there are three types amino carboxy and uridyl so amino carboxy uridyl so they will kill gram positive like natural like natural but they will kill gram negative also so we are extending extending so see one by one we will see let's start with amino 
amino and you know their full forms amino have two drugs what are the two drugs in the amino aa aa hai na ampicillin amoxicillin uh, carboxy also have two drugs ct the mnemonic is ct carbicillin and ticarcillin and urido have three drugs map map hai na mesloscillin azlocillin and piperacillin so a a c t map you can learn a a c t map these are the all antibiotics which have extended spectrum they are coming under extended this is amino this is carboxy this is urido they are extended spectrum so let's start with amino they have amino group ha na they have a beta lactam ring beta lactam to hai hi hai but they have a amino group also so that's why they have extended spectrum so ampicillin is a prototype here but they are acid stable also you can give the tablets but they are not resistant to penicillin so this overcoming this shortcoming is not overcome okay but the two shortcomings are overcome ha na spectrum the spectrum it kill gram positive like penicillin g but in the gram negative it kills few bacteria like h influenzae e coli proteus salmonella shigella h pylori ha na so we can say the enterobacteriaceae family along with h influenza and h pylori h influenza h pylori e coli proteus salmonella shigella so these 5 6 gram negative are covered not all not all so a little bit extended spectrum to so, gram positive to hai hi hai but a little bit of the gram negative are also covered you have to learn the names this is ampicillin better are the carboxy here carboxy group is there coh group ha na beta lactam ring is there but there is coh group here amino group was there here carboxy is there carbicillin is the prototype here ha na so it is not acid resistant and it is not penicillin resistant only one of the shortcoming is overcome other two are still persisting okay here the spectrum pseudomonas is also included ha na ye sare ke sare hain so all gram positive are there among the gram negative we have E. coli, Klebsiella, Salmonella, Shigella, H. pylori, है ना? H. influenzae. But additional we have Pseudomonas. Additional we have Pseudomonas here, which was not here, but Pseudomonas is here. But there is a side effect. They cause platelet aggregation and thrombus formation. They cause a side effect as platelet aggregation. The last and the third category is urido penicillin. The last and the third category is urido penicillin. Here, piperacillin is a prototype. Here, Pseudomonas is included like here, but it is eight time more active against Pseudomonas as compared to Carboxy. as compared to carboxy best one best one ha na and here klebsiella ke liye bhi hai all bacteriovides ke liye bhi hai so wide spectrum is having these so tell the spectrum of all three ha huh? so tell me all about the penicillin can you tell me the penicillins we are done with the penicillins i taught you the penicillin chapter ha na now the last category is pending i will tell you this the meaning of the this and everything about this and then we will solve the questions so i taught you the penicillin i taught you natural one i taught you the artificial or semi synthetic one ha na the natural one is only one penicillin g or also known as benzyl penicillin there were three problems here three shortcomings it is acid susceptible it is penicillinase susceptible and narrow spectrum to overcome it we have created three artificial so one is acid resistant one is penicillin resistant and one is wide spectrum okay so the three shortcomings are overcome ha na so one is acid resistant one is penicillinase resistant and one is wide spectrum hai na extended spectrum or wide spectrum okay wide spectrum is of three types okay so here we have only one penicillin b here only we have penicillin resistance we have condom condom you know the full form we have five here we have three categories what are the three categories amino carboxy and urido you know the names okay a a c t map okay learn the spectrum of all three who will tell me the spectrum here here in all of these only gram positive no gram negative here gram positive few gram negative which few gram negative e coli salmonella shigella h pylori and uh, h influenzae okay here all gram positive all of these are there but along with the pseudomonas here all gram positive are there all of these are there pseudomonas is also there but pseudomonas eight times more potent along with the bacterioids also klebsiella also so this one is having the widest spectrum you have to learn the spectrum of all of them Okay, please learn the spectrum. Okay, so we are done with this. How many of you got it? How many of you got it? Now you may be having a confusion that which of them are acid resistant and which of them are acid stable. I told you, of course, this one is acid uh, uh, labile. This one is acid labile, ha na? This one is acid resistant. And from these there is a mixture. Some are acid resistant, some is acid labile, ha na? So there is a mnemonic. The mnemonic is vodka, vodka, vodka. You can learn vodka is the acid stable. vodka is acid stable ha na these are five acid stability you can take the tablets of vodka ha na the patient can take the tablet because it is acid stable b for penicillin b penicillin b ha na o for oxicillin d for dicloxacillin 
C C actually it is C not K है ना it is cloxacillin cloxa decloxa cloxa decloxa and both A A are there ampicillin amoxicillin can you mark the vodka here for me where is vodka can you please mark and highlight the vodka this is penicillin B this is O V O D vodka K नहीं है वो C है C and A double A these all are tablets rest all are injections remaining are all all are vodka को छोड़के जितना भी है they all are injectable because they are acid susceptible remaining all are acid susceptible only vodka is acid stable so you can give the tablets rest all are acid susceptible so you have to give the injections so learn except vodka everything else is injectable vodka is tablet everyone give me a thumbs up everyone you got it what is vodka Anna? so please learn that also oh okay ji so move further now now coming on this category i'm skipping it till now now let me explain you what is this let me explain you so these are not penicillins actually these are not penicillins these are beta lactamase inhibitors and they are three beta lactamase inhibitor i will tell you what are beta lactamase inhibitor what was the problem here now listen listen what was the problem one of the problem with natural penicillin the second shortcoming the the natural penicillin were having three problems what is the second problem you see ma'am penicillin is susceptible so as soon as my penicillin is entering, this is my penicillin. This is a bacteria. I want to kill this bacteria. It is present inside my patient's body, start from the beginning. Now this is a bacteria present in my patient's body, causing a disease in my patient's body. I want to kill it. I have given a drug, natural penicillin. Penicillin G. And I have given a drug, penicillin. Okay? I have given a drug, penicillin. Okay, G. But the bacteria already have an enzyme to degrade that. So as soon as my drug will enter, the enzyme will degrade the beta lactam ring. What does the enzyme identify? Enzyme identify only the four-sided ring. As soon as the ring, है ना उसको डंडा देके रखा है कि जैसे ही चार कार्बन वाला दिखे उसको फोड़ देना, जैसे ही देखे उसको मार के तोड़ देना. So it knows only one thing. As soon as, as soon as a four-sided ring enters inside the bacteria, I have to degrade that. Before it shows action, I have to degrade that. So that is the role of this enzyme, है ना? Now once the beta lactam ring is degraded, it become ineffective. It become ineffective. It is not effective. It is its beta lactam ring is gone before the antibiotic kill the bacteria, uh, inhibit the cell wall synthesis. The it is it is degraded. We do not want that. So what we have done, we are very smart people. What we have done along with this beta lactam, we don't give the beta lactam here. Beta lactam is the main hero. Take it out. Isko baad mein denge. Before that, we do an entry of a side hero. Let's take a side hero. There are two heroes in this movie. The main hero is the beta lactam. Hana, we will give a side hero that that too have a beta lactam ring. That too have a beta lactam ring, but it is not beta lactam antibiotic. It is not beta lactam. That too have a beta lactam. It is a mimicker, Anna, to confuse the enzyme. We will fool this enzyme. We will fool this. We will make this enzyme as a fool. Anna, so to fool this enzyme, we will do the entry of a side hero. Okay, it is having a beta lactam ring structure inside that, but it is not beta lactam antibiotic. So the enzyme will think, oh my God, it is a beta lactam antibiotic. It will go and try to degrade it. It will get degraded, but this will also be degraded. Both of them degrade each other. You got my point? The enzyme, now we are safe and now we can do the entry of the main hero. So side hero is sacrificed just to do the entry of the main hero. It's like a movie story, you can understand. We want the entry of the main hero for that. But if the main hero enter directly, the enzyme is present, it will degrade it. So we are first entering the side hero, which is the hamshakal, the twin, the, you know, the twin, the external appearance is same, you know, uh, the, the side hero, but it is not the main hero. So first the side hero is entering. What it is doing? It is... It is, you know, attracting beta lactamase enzyme that, see, I'm a beta lactam antibiotic, but actually it is not. It is a mimicker. So the beta lactamase enzyme will go and degrade it, but in return, that will also degrade it. Both degrade each other. It is a suicide. It is like, like suicide, progressive suicide, it is called. Say yes if you got it, everyone. Hana. Now we can give beta lactam antibiotic safely. The enzyme is not there. So these drugs, which are the mimickers, which are known as beta lactamase inhibitors. The name itself indicates what they are doing. Say, give me a thumbs up, people. I'm trying very hard to explain you. Telling these stories like that. Like fun. Okay. So, beta lactamase inhibitors. Hana, they are inhibiting the beta lactam. Hana, these are the side heroes. I call them side heroes. These are side hero. These all are main hero. So, we can give the main hero and the side hero together. So, first the side hero will enter. Hana, take care of the enzyme. Uh, inhibit the enzyme, degrade the enzyme and then the entry of the main hero will do. So these are not, they do not have any antimicrobial activity. They are just taking the care. They do not inhibit cell wall synthesis. I mean to say that. The cell wall synthesis inhibition will be done by these, the main heroes. But along with them, first we will enter the side hero so that the main hero can be protected from the enzyme. 
I don't know how many of you got it. Hana. So how many side heroes are there? We are having three type of side heroes. The mnemonic is CST. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminal in Mumbai. It's a station. Hana. CST. You can make some other mnemonic if you wish. CST. I call it Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminal. CST. My mnemonic is CST. C stands for clavulonic acid. S stands for sulbactam. Sulbactam. And T stands for tezobactam. So CST. I understand like this. I hope you got that. Got it what I am saying. So CST. Clavulonic acid. Sulbactam, Tazobactam. So we combine them with the main heroes. Hana? Now looking at their pharmacokinetics, uh, uh, clavulonic acid is best combined with amoxicillin. Hana? Because T half of both of them is same and plasma half life is same and other things are same. So we combine them together. Sulbactam is best combined with ampicillin and Tazobactam is best combined with piprocillin. Although we can combine them with any of them, but there is a pair. The one main hero, one side hero, one main hero. So based on their pharmacokinetics, the pairs are fixed. We cannot interchange them. So clavulonic C CST, CST, first learn their name. Please remember what does they are doing. Beta lactamase inhibitor, they also have beta lactam ring. They are Bahrupia, they are Hamshakal. They are the twins of the main hero, but not the main hero. Hana, they have the external appearance, same as that of main hero. They also have beta ring, beta lactam ring. So they enter inside the bacteria and they bind with the enzyme. They call the enzyme, come kill me. See, I'm having a ring. As soon as the enzyme come and degrade them, they also inhibit them. Dono ek ko khatam kar denge. Hai. Now they are protecting the main hero, the beta lactam antibiotics from their destruction. They are saying the enzyme is killed. And now we are increasing the uh, activity by doing so. The activity of the main heroes. Anna? So beta lactamase inhibitor are not antimicrobial. They do not do the cell wall synthesis inhibitor. No, they just make the main hero safe. Anna? They are increasing the efficacy of beta lactam antibiotics. The beta lactamase inhibitor. The beta lactamase inhibitor increases the efficacy of beta lactam antibiotic. They are not antibiotics. Say, got it? Hana? Just they increase the activity of the antibiotic. That's what I mean to say. We are done with the chapter. Does anyone have any doubt? If you don't have doubt, I want thumbs up from all of you. Anyone have any doubt? Please write down in the chat box. I request you to write down. I will address it if you have any of the doubt. Okay. So you know the users, you know the side effects. Users and side effects of most of them is same. Here we have extended spectrum. Otherwise, the users and side effect I told you. Users, you have to learn the two mnemonics. Last man DP, it is the therapeutic use. And rub or bar, that is the therapeutic uh, prophylactic uses. I hope it's done. Everyone, now we will solve some questions. Let's see kitno ko samajh mein aaya. The first question is in front of you. The following is not a penicillinase resistant penicillin. First, tell me how many penicillinase resistant penicillin you know. The penicillinase resistant penicillin, this is a beta lactam ring. The penicillinase resistant penicillin are the penicillin with a side chain. They have a ghoongar, they have a cover so that the enzyme do not recognize them. The mnemonic is condom. So what it is not coming in this mnemonic? I guess you can see methicillin is coming here. Okay, I guess you can see oxycillin is also coming. And napicillin is also coming. But ampicillin is not coming. Ampicillin is AACT uh, map. It is coming in extended spectrum. I know why you people are not answering. The correct answer here is B. For that you have to learn the classification very well. Please learn the classification. I have given you mnemonics everywhere. Please learn the mnemonic. Just the mnemonic. Classification is like, you know, it's like a cakewalk. All the penicillin. Now divide them in three categories. I know the first category, natural. The second, artificial or semi-synthetic. And third category, these are not penicillins, but these are penicillinase enzyme inhibitors. Inhibitors. Hana, here we have only one. Here we have three categories again. Okay. Here we have only one. The name of that penicillin is penicillin G. Okay. Here, what are the three categories I told you? One is acid resistant. One is penicillinase resistant. And one is extended spectrum. That two of three type. Amino, carboxy and uridum. Urido. Now tell me the names. Here also we have only one penicillin B. Penicillin G, penicillin B. Here A, A, C, T, MAP. Okay. And here condom. Okay. And here Chhatrapati Shivaji terminal. I guess you know the full forms. This is the easiest way I can tell you the classification. No one will tell you like this. Okay. Say yes if you got it. Say yes. I have given you mnemonics everywhere. G, V, condom, C, S, T. A, A, C, T, map. Pura mnemonic hai. Just mnemonics. That's it. That's it. The penicillins. Now you can apply. The next question is in front of you. Acid labile penicillin. Acid labile. How many of them are acid labile? Uh, acid labile. Which of them is acid labile? Huh? Which of them is uh, acid labile? I told you except vodka. Everyone else is acid labile. Vodka is acid stable. You can give the tablets of vodka. Vodka is acid stable. 
यू कैन गिव द टैबलेट ऑफ बोर्ड का सो वॉट इज नॉट कमिंग इन बोर्ड का सी बोर्ड का कंटेंट क्लॉक्स ऑफ सिलिन यस एक्चुअली के एस सी ओनली ओके आई टोल यू के एस सी सो इट इज कमिंग है ना एंड वॉट अबाउट ए एम्पेसिलिन इट इज ऑल्सो कमिंग हियर है ना वॉट अबाउट फिनॉक्सी मिथाइल पैनसिलिन एक्चुअली फिनॉक्सी मिथाइल पैनसिलिन इज पैनसिलिन बी सो इट इज ऑल्सो कमिंग बट बोर्ड का डोंट कंटेन मैथसिलिन सो मैथसिलिन इज इंजेक्टेबल मैथसिलिन इज इंजेक्टेबल ओके गॉट इट ओके सो करेक्ट आंसर इज मैथसिलिन दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू अप्लाई द निमोनिक ओके यू हैव टू अप्लाई वोड का यू हैव टू अप्लाई वोड का वोड का मे मेक इट सी Okay, the next question is in front of you. Which among the following is not a beta lactamase resistant penicillin? Again, the same question. What is beta lactamase resistant? Hana, instead of penicillinase resistant, they are asking beta lactamase. One and the same thing. Whether penicillinase or beta lactamase uh, resistant penicillin. So these are the penicillins with a cover. Hana, with a gungat. So they are again asking condom, which is not coming in condom. Huh? So methicillin, it's coming in the condom. oxazolin it's also coming in the condom nafisilin it's also coming in the condom but c is cloxazolin c is not carb carbenicillin carbenicillin is one of the carboxy and a condom ka c is cloxazolin it's not carbicillin so carbicillin is the answer so this is how you have to apply the mnemonic knowing mnemonic is not important you should be able to apply it in the question the next question all are the therapeutic uses of penicillin g except therapeutic uses i told you a mnemonic the mnemonic is last man dp This was the mnemonic I told you. So what is not coming in this mnemonic? Meningitis is coming. Yes, M is meningitis. Syphilis is coming. Yes, T T is trypanoma, trypanoma pallidum. Anthrax is coming. Yes, this A N is anthrax only. But rickettsia is it coming? No, rickettsia is not coming. So it is not a drug of choice for rickettsia. The drug of choice of all rickettsial infection is doxycycline. The drug of choice is doxycycline. One of the tetracycline which I taught you in the last session. So rickettsia, वहाँ पे आता है. Got my point? If you remember my last session, how many of you attended my last session? What are the mnemonic I have given you for the uses of the tetracycline? I may have given you a mnemonic there, huh? So you can see, huh? Now the mnemonic was the vacuum the bedroom, vacuum the bedroom का जो R है that is rickettsia. So this is the mnemonic for uses of tetracycline. So I am telling you just to how to intercorrelate the things, huh? Now so rickettsia के लिए drug of choice is doxycycline, which is one of the tetracycline. Okay, but here it is not coming. You should know the drug of choice. Okay, so that will be with the help of mnemonics only. So correct answer here is B. You can see the other three are coming in this mnemonic. Last man DP I told you the mnemonic. The next question is in front of you. Which of the following is true for penicillin G? Which of the following is true for the penicillin G? What is penicillin G? Penicillin G is natural penicillin that is benzyl penicillin. Only one natural penicillin, benzyl penicillin. It is effective orally? No, not at all. No, it is acid lavile. You cannot give it orally. It is one of the limitation. There are three limitation. One of the limitation you cannot uh, uh, give it orally. It is false. Ha na? Uh, you have to give injectable because it is acid lavile. It is having wide spectrum. No, it is having very narrow spectrum. It kill only gram positive, not gram negative. Ha na? And uh, it is used in red bite fever. Red bite fever is uh, tularemia. Yes. So this is correct. This is correct. So last man DP. One of the T. There are two T. Na? One is red bite fever. I mean tularemia, and one is trypanoma. So correct answer here is this. Okay, C is the correct answer. The next question is in front of you. Carboxy penicillin true is all accept. So what? Please accept only questions are little bit difficult. They are asking true is all accept. Basically they are asking which is false, which is false among them. So read which is false for carboxy penicillin. Huh? Which is false? Is it nephrotoxic? I have not read so. I guess this is false. It is sensitive to penicillin A. Yes, it is sensitive to penicillin A because carboxy penicillin is coming in the extended spectrum. So that shortcoming is removed, but other shortcomings are not removed. It is still uh, sensitive to penicillin A. That's why we have to give it with penicillin A resist uh, penicillin A inhibitors. Okay, it is effective against Pseudomonas. Yes, and it causes a side effect as thrombus platelet aggregation. So incorrect among them is nephrotoxic. This is how you have to approach the question. You have to apply the knowledge in the question. Okay, learning things is not important. Applying it in the MCQs is important. All of the following are beta lactamase inhibitors except I told you three beta lactamase inhibitor. I told you a mnemonic. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminal CST was my mnemonic. Huh? No. Now what is not coming? Clavulonic acid. Of course, it's coming. Sulbactam. Of course, of course, it is coming. Tazobactam. It is coming. But uh, uh, estriolam is not coming. So estriolam is not coming. Okay. So it is not there. So correct answer here is estriolam. Okay. What is true regarding clavulonic acid? So first thing you should understand what is clavulonic acid. Here is the clavulonic acid. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminal ka C hai ye. It is not a penicillin. It is a beta lactamase inhibitor. Hai na? 
it is a side hero i call them side heroes they are not main heroes they are side heroes they sacrifice themselves to protect the main hero so first they enter inside the bacteria and kill the enzyme they also get killed by the enzyme they also kill the enzyme both kill each other and make the way for the main hero so that main hero can come safely they deactivate the enzyme yes they deactivate the enzyme they decrease the renal ex excretion of amoxicillin they potentiates the penicillin or they decreases the side effects of amoxicillin so the be best answer is they deactivate the beta lactamase enzyme i know you know they deactivate the enzyme both kill each other these are the side heroes the last question is in front of you read the question tell me the answer some gram negative bacteria is there that produces an enzyme that blocks the action of beta lactam antibiotic we don't know the name of the enzyme but that enzyme is blocking the action of beta lactam antibiotic in the diagram shown can you see the diagram shown to you this is a diagram of penicillin g the natural penicillin can you tell me the site of action of that enzyme from a b c d this is a b c d can you see a so this enzyme is breaking this bond a or this is breaking this bond that is b breaking this bond that is c or breaking this bond that is d I have highlighted the A, B, C, D options just for your convenience. Can you tell me which bond? So first thing they are talking about the penicillinase enzyme or beta lactamase enzyme because they are talking about penicillin G. We know in penicillin G the enzyme which is present in the bacteria. The name of the enzyme is beta lactamase enzyme. So they are basically asking beta lactamase or penicillinase enzyme is breaking which bond in the structure. So first identify the beta lactam ring. Where is the beta lactam ring? So I guess everyone can identify this is the beta lactam ring. The four-sided ring, this one. Now, in this ring, which bond is broken by the enzyme? It is carbon-nitrogen bond. This bond, carbon-nitrogen. So, answer is B. So, the correct answer is B. I know this is how you have to identify. I told you very clearly. Got my point? Got my point? So, we are done. If you want the notes of this session, uh, the link will be pinned after the session. Currently, I forgot to pin the link, but currently, just after the session, for once I will finish it now. So, I will share the notes. I will pin the link in this chat only. Okay, once the session will be over. Once you click the link, you will be diverted towards the notes. So not only this notes, all the notes of all YT live sessions are available there. So please, you can download it and you can read it. Okay, now here is the contact number. You can save this number if you wish. It's 9321001485. This contact number is for your queries. If you have any query in pharmacology, pathology, microbiology, PSM, medicine, if you have any query and you want me to resolve it, kindly text your query. Kindly, kindly text your query. If you have any topic in your mind which you find difficult and you want me to schedule that topic on the uh, YouTube, you can schedule, you can uh, text that also on this number. So if maximum students are texting the same topic, we will schedule it soon on the YouTube. Okay. And if you have any query, study related query, if you want me to help for your timetable or anything, you want study related help from my side. So kindly text it. And this number is only for chat support, not for calling. So kindly don't call here and just you can text it. Now here is a QR code given to you. Please scan it. If you wish, you can scan it. You will be diverted towards a website that is medlife by drpriyanka.com where you can connect with me on various social media platforms that is Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp groups. And I will share study related material of multiple subjects on all these social media so i request you to connect with me on various social media platform by scanning this qr code please scan it okay thank you so much and every monday wednesday friday we come live to take the youtube sessions free for all students on the youtube at 9 30 a.m in the morning so my next session is on 22nd of december a day after tomorrow on friday we are having a session of microbiology the complete culture media then after that, we are having a session of gene transfer in the bacteria, then sterilization technique, and then we have some pathology topics, healing and repair. So these topics are decided based on the student's demand. If you have some topic in your mind, kindly let me know. Before ending this session and leaving it, don't forget to like. If you like the session, don't forget to share the link with your friends, colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe the YouTube channel. If you want the further notification, press the bell icon. Okay, you will get the notification every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning 9 30 with the important topic we will be cover covering here hannah coming here thank you so much for being with me thank you so much for your patience and uh uh i'm sorry and for your important time which you are giving giving here to us okay thank you so much so just let me and this session and wishing you all the best for your exam if you have any topic in your mind don't forget to text please i request you if you have any doubt also whatever i am teaching or any topic which i have not even taught you you can text us thank you so much bye bye wishing you all the best hope to see you again on friday in the next session with the microbiology three important topics we will be covering covering one by one thank you so much bye bye i am ending the session bye